firstly, what is meal prep? Meal prep is when you take the time out of your day to spend a bit of time in the kitchen to prepare some of the meals ahead of time. There are a few different types of meal prep, which I will go into shortly. But firstly, I just wanted to tell you a bit about why I think meal prep is so important. So when you take the time to prepare healthy, nutritious meals ahead of time, you are one, saving yourself time later on when you're busy, um, but two, you're allowing yourself to eat these nutritious, delicious meals because a lot of the time it comes to the time when you're supposed to eat. You begin to feel hungry and then that's when you're like, oh, what am I going to make? But if you had pre-prepared those meals in advance, you will just be like, okay, I'm going to have my lasagna or I'm going to have my fried rice or whatever it is that you made ahead of time. So it takes out that mental friction of you having to think of what you're going to make and having to spend that extra time in the kitchen. So it not only saves you time, it saves you mental effort, it saves you stress and it allows you to eat these really delicious foods. You know, what I've had people say to me in the past is that they're too busy to meal prep, but I actually believe that you're too busy to not meal prep. When you meal prep, you're saving yourself that time. Yes, it does take maybe a couple of hours on a Sunday, but that's going to save you time throughout your whole week and allow you to be less stressed, um, less anxious about meals. And yeah, everything will just flow a lot easier during your week if you can take that little bit of extra time um, to prepare some things in advance. So I'm going to teach you about three different types of meal prepping. I have tried all of them and I think they all have very good aspects, but they are good for different types of people. So firstly, there is the Sunday meal prepper. So what I mean by this is it's the type of person who will spend a couple of hours on a Sunday to actually take the time to go grocery shopping, plan out their meals, and then make all the meals for the week. So. An example of it is here. What I've done is I've prepped some delicious blueberry overnight oats. This recipe is in my ebook if you have that, um, and I've also included it in the 21 day reset ebook. Um, so, what I did last night is I prepared these overnight oats. I made three different little ones in these cute little glass containers. And then when you want to go and eat them, you can add some toppings on top if you'd like. So you could add some sliced banana, or I actually have some cinnamon here that I like to pop on top when it's time to eat. And then there you go, you have your meal ready for the next morning. I usually use this when I have to go in early to the gym, or if I have a long car trip that I have to leave for early in the morning, I will opt to make overnight oats so that it's super easy for me to just grab and go in the morning. I also did some meal prepping of some snacks for the week. I love to meal prep snacks. So right here, I have my delicious Snickers date bites, which are so good. They're also in my ebook. And then I even have some protein bars. So these protein bars you can actually store in the freezer, which is so handy because you just can grab them from the freezer anytime. They can last up to a month. Um, so that's really, really handy. This is a peanut butter chocolate protein bar, which is so good. <laughs> So that is an example of the Sunday meal prepper. You take that extra time. Obviously, you make a few more meals than what I've made here. Um, you might want to make a curry. You might want to make um, a stir fry or something that then you can have for your coming meals and you'll have them all prepared in these little containers um, to be able to take with you on the go. So that is the Sunday meal prepper. Now I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the partial meal prepper. So that's all the stuff I have out here. So I have partially meal prepped two different meals, which I will show you shortly. So the two different meals I chose were a lemongrass tofu noodle bowl as well as rice paper rolls. So I chose these two meals because they have very similar ingredients. And that means that you only have to prep the ingredients once and then you can use them for multiple meals. And this is a really, really handy tool, um, which means you don't have to do as much volume of preparation. Uh, you just have to prep a few ingredients ahead of time and then you can use them for multiple meals. So I'm going to quickly show you how I would assemble these two meals. So firstly, let's go with the tofu lemongrass noodle bowl. So these little noodles, all I did was put it in some hot water for 10 minutes and that cooks the noodles. So choosing something like rice noodles instead of, you know, having to go and make pasta or make rice is like a quick and easy method. So you can definitely use that if you want some quick and easy meal prep. And then what I'm going to do is add in some lettuce to my little bowl. 
And then I'm going in with some of this cabbage. I have washed my hands, by the way, so don't worry. And finally, some carrot. So assembling this beautiful rainbow colored bowl. I'm also gonna go in with a little bit of cucumber and some avocado. One or two more slices there. So then I actually meal prepped some fresh mint and this is something I highly recommend. I have found in the past that if I buy fresh herbs and just leave them in their packet in the fridge, they never end up getting used. However, if I take the time to actually wash the herbs and put them in a nice Tupperware container like this, which has an easy lid that you can just put it on into the fridge, I'm so much more likely to use those fresh herbs. And fresh herbs are amazing. They're so good for your health. Um, they've got lots of delicious nutrients in there. So what we're gonna do now is add in our fresh, beautiful mint into our little bowl. And then the last thing we have to add in is our tofu. So I actually pre-marinated the tofu today. And this tofu we are going to use for both the rice paper rolls and the noodle bowl. So it's super easy to just make a little marinade. Again, this is in my ebook. It's a beautiful lemongrass tofu marinade with some fresh ginger in there. Um, and then just put it in a nice glass container and store that in the fridge. So that is all you have to do with that. And when you are ready to eat, you just simply cook it on the stove um, in a little bit of oil. It only takes a few minutes to cook. And then here we are with our beautiful tofu. So we're just gonna put a couple of pieces of that into our noodle bowl. And then here you have it, the completed noodle bowl. If you wanna add an extra sauce on top, you can use some of that tofu marinade that you used earlier to marinate the tofu and just drizzle that on top. Um, but that is the completed dish. As you can see, it only took me a couple of seconds to put together and that is because I used this partial meal prep method where I had pre-prepared each of the different ingredients. So it's just so simple to put together. And I'm just quickly gonna show you how I would do that with the rice paper roll as well. So I have this little tip with rice paper rolls, which is to put a little bit of oil onto your plate before you put the rice paper onto your plate. And what that will do is it will stop it from sticking. So I'm just gonna grab some sesame oil and I'm just gonna quickly put a little bit of that onto the plate and just kind of mix it around. You can use a paper towel to get it all evenly distributed or just use your hands like me. And then we're grabbing one of our rice papers, dipping it in some water, some warm water that is. All right, so once your rice paper is nice and soft, putting that down onto your oiled plate and then just putting each of the ingredients that you want. Rice paper rolls are also really great for when you have a group of people who all like different things because you don't necessarily have to all put the same thing into your rice paper roll. Um, like if one person didn't like cabbage, they wouldn't have to put that in there. They could choose what they wanted. So I really like to make rice paper rolls at the table. Um, so I just prepare all the different ingredients using this partial meal prep method. And then when you come to eat dinner, it's just so simple. It's actually so fun. I love making rice paper rolls. It's a really fun activity to, yeah, just get your hands into the food. And I think it helps you to be more conscious of how much you're consuming as well. Because a lot of the time we kind of eat a bit mindlessly. Um, but if you are physically making your food at the table, you're actually better able to connect with the food in front of you and connect with your body and your hunger cues. So lastly, we just have to put a piece of tofu in. And then it's time to roll. So I think I did put too much into this rice paper roll. So excuse my rolling skills today, but if I put less in, it would have been more graceful, but oh well, we'll just go with it. <laughs> so you kind of wrap it up like a bit of a burrito making sure it's nice and tight. And there you have it, your delicious rice paper roll. As I said, it's, <laughs> it's a bit big. I probably should have put a few less things in there, but that's the gist of it. And then I made this really delicious saute sauce, which is just hoisin and peanut butter mixed together. This one's nice and thick, but if you want it thinner, you can just add in a little bit of water to that. 
um, and then you just tuck in and enjoy. So good. Those rice paper rolls are so good, especially with the fresh mango and the avocado in there. It really makes it. Anyway, on to the next type of meal prep. So the final type of meal prep I wanted to go through in depth is the leftovers meal prep up. So this is something I most often do myself, which is I make one meal, but instead of just making one or two serves, I make four serves or five serves, and then you have leftovers for the coming days. And what you can do with that is you don't have to necessarily eat it within the next couple of days. If it's a freezer friendly meal, you can actually put some of those serves into the freezer. So for example, I'll grab something out of the fridge I made earlier. Here is a lasagna that I made yesterday. So you can see here that one of the serves is gone, but I still have five more serves that I can eat. All right, so I'm just gonna serve up one of these slices um, with something like a lasagna or a pasta. All you need to do is quickly whip that in the microwave for a couple of minutes. And then what I like to do personally is add a little bit of freshness into the meal to help bring back that freshness that you kind of lose a bit when you do this kind of leftovers meal prepping, especially if it's frozen. So what I like to do is just add in some fresh greens. So my personal favorite is just spinach. And then I like to dress it with a little bit of balsamic vinegar. I love balsamic vinegar glaze. It's just a great way to get that extra little bit of flavoring. So there you have it, this quick and easy way to use your leftovers as a form of meal prep. So yeah, you can do different forms of leftovers meal prep. What I was doing for a while was I would make my dinner every night and then I would just have leftovers for lunch the next day. Um, but if you are busier, you could even make it for multiple meals. So you could make dinner one day, then have it for lunch and dinner the next day. Um, or if you've got multiple meals and you've got some in the freezer, you can kind of whip one out here and there. It's great for if you are driving long distances for work and you need stuff that's gonna keep cold, having those frozen meals is really helpful and it's really easy when you use this leftover meal prep method. So on the note of meal prep, the final thing I did want to mention is that if you are really too busy, like if you are a mom of kids and you work a full-time job, like you really, really, like I applaud you just for getting through life. Like it would be a struggle. So if you really don't have any time to spend in the kitchen whatsoever, the next best thing you can do is ordering a meal prep delivery service. So I have tried this one, which I highly recommend called Garden of Vegan. I'll just grab out some of the meals quickly to show you. So this company uses all organic ingredients, which is very rare. I've actually tried a lot of different meal prep delivery services before. And and none of them have tasted this fresh and this like tasty, honestly, just like all the different components of the meal are so vibrant and full of flavor. So I've just got a couple of meals here, for example, like this is an apricot chickpea curry, satay tofu stir fry, um, a sticky Korean tempeh dish, as well as a mushroom arancini bolognese. They have some really, really cool meals. I do have a code that you can use to get $25 off your first order. Don't feel pressured to use it, but I'll leave that down below just in case. I do honestly recommend them. Um, I bought my first order from them fully with my own money, not sponsored at all. I honestly just really wanted to try it and I was so, so pleasantly surprised with how good quality these meals were. Um, and since then, I've begun to order more from them. They also do these beautiful fresh fruit and veggie boxes, which are amazing if you live in Australia. Um, I personally find it quite hard to get fresh organic produce, but this company sends it straight to your door and it's so simple and easy. Um, so that's the last thing about meal prep. If you really don't have time to cook your own meals, I mean, cooking your own meals is preferred, but if you don't, if you really don't have that time, there's always meal delivery services. Like Garden of Vegan is just one of many different services you could use um, that could be more beneficial for you depending on what kind of foods you like to eat. Um, but yeah, and then the last thing I just wanted to talk a little bit about before I close out this video is just the notion of intuitive eating. I feel like some people think that meal prep conflicts with intuitive eating, but I personally think that meal prep actually allows me to be more intuitive with my food because when I have, for example, um, an overnight oats pre-prepped for me the next day, 
I don't feel like I have to eat this straight away. If I'm not hungry first thing in the morning, well, then I can wait till, you know, whatever time I start to actually feel hungry and eat. I think a lot of the time we eat at certain times of the day because that's when we have enough time to prepare meals, but actually to follow your hunger cues and to be more intuitive with your eating, it's not necessarily gonna be at strict times every day. So for me, when I have this food prepared ahead of time, I can actually tune in better with my hunger cues because I know it's there for me waiting whenever I get hungry. So I have this more abundant mindset where I feel like I know there is lots of food and so I can wait till when I actually feel hungry to eat. I know everyone is different and sometimes um, you may need to eat when you're not hungry, you know, if you're competing in, you know, a competition or something, if you're doing some sporting endeavors, like you might need to eat sometimes when you're not hungry, but the whole idea of intuitive eating is about listening to your body, listening to those natural hunger cues, and I think meal prep actually really complements intuitive eating. If you want to learn more about meal prep and intuitive eating, you can read about it in either my Plant Powered Recipe ebook or in the 21 Day Reset ebook. Um, if you don't have access to either of those yet, I will leave the links down below um, so you can check them out. But yeah, I really hope this video was helpful so that you can learn a little bit more about meal prep, intuitive eating, and how you can actually physically go about doing these different styles of meal prep. Um, so yeah, the first one that I mentioned, the Sunday meal prepper, that's probably better for someone that works like a nine to five job. They're super busy during the week, but they do have that spare time on the weekend. Then the partial meal prepper is probably better for someone who works from home maybe or spends a lot of time at home and likes to really have fresh meals put together at the time, um, but does like to prepare a little bit ahead of time. Then the leftovers meal prep can kind of be for anyone really, just making extra serves of your meals when you are going to make them so you have those leftovers that are easy to grab and go. Um, so yeah, all of these different methods work for different types of people. Uh, whichever one works for you, I really urge you to give it a go. Um, get into a good routine of planning out your meals in advance, going shopping, doing this meal prep so that you are best able to live your best life and to feel nourished in your body because honestly, nutrition, is one of the key pillars to living a happy, purposeful life because you need to fuel your body so that you can feel your best, so that you have the mental clarity to be able to go and do what you want to do in life. So yeah, I really hope this video was helpful. Again, you can check out all of this information as well as some recipes in both of my eBooks, which I'll link down below. Thank you so much. I hope you have a beautiful day and I will see you next time. Bye.